What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video on the Forgotten Treasures channel. Today, we are at the Glendale Hospital. That's what we're going to be visiting. Um, literally, we're right close to it. One of the main buildings is directly to those woods over there. Before we head up to the building, let me give you a little bit of history of this place. This building was opened in around 1930s, I believe. That's when it was built. It was built to treat patients for tuberculosis, from what I read. But this place shut down in the... 80s, I believe, 1980. This place shut down in the 80s was because of asbestos. So basically asbestos poisoning. So that's why this place shut down. And there's two giant buildings. One was the adult wing, and then there's a separate building, I believe, made just for kids. So there's a children's hospital and, a dot, and an adult hospital in this area. And there's also a few other small buildings as well. There's a maintenance building. I think there's one, there's a, there's a generator building, which you store all the power for the facility. Um, I may not be able to get to this, to all those places today. I am coming back later this week to with, with a friend. I'm not with anybody this time around for the first part. If this does become a two part thing, I'm not with anybody, which kind of, it's kind of dangerous. I was, I messaged my friend, asked him, asking him if he could come, if he can join. He's not available. And then I talked to this explorer guy as well i asked if he could come he's he's not in the area so he's he won't he wasn't able to make it in time but literally right over there you see there's a trail i think we may have to run that trail and also one more thing this place does have security there is police it's not as guarded as it used to be back in a few years ago in the past but there's still police that show up around here from time to time so we may have to be cautious of that as well but without further ado let's get into it so as you see there's a little trail that leads up to it i have to make sure no one's coming there's a house right over there all right so this path i believe will lead to one of the main buildings I'm pretty sure it will lead to the adult building, not the child hospital. The child hospital is across the field. It's a giant open field. But let's be cautious because there are security around here. I don't know how often they patrol, but they patrol around here. So we have to be extremely cautious. I think this is the, the adult wing of the building. Now, I don't know if there's cameras here, but I do know there's security. Anyways, I'll, let me get my flashlight out, and then we head inside this building and see what we got. I also bought my K2 meter, so we may actually do some EMP, electromagnetic frequency sessions here, because this place is reported to be haunted. And possibly if we can, I'm afraid of heights, but let's see if we can get to the top of the building. Oh yeah, I'm noticing. I need to put on a mask because this this place was abandoned due to asbestos. I'm going to need to put on a mask. Dude, look at this place. It's, it's massive. One, two, three, four. It's five to six stories. Oh my god. My heart's beating so fast right now. I don't know if you can hear it. My heart's beating so fast.
Okay, I just turned the light on my camera. I don't know what's going on with this. I probably should have brought a better flashlight. This one doesn't seem like it's operating good. I have the wrong flashlight. You can't see jack shit in here. You just need to find, be able to get the higher level because that's where there's going to be light. That's the basement. I apparently have a shit flashlight or I need new batteries. So we're going to see if we can find a place to find, uh, to get up because I do not want to be in the basement with very visible light. The main light I have on my, is, is on my camera and my phone. And it's shit, it's absolutely terrible. And I do not want to be down there by myself. Now, if I was with a friend, that's one thing. Being by myself in a dark area like that, it's the first time exploring a giant building like this. I can't do it, dude. I think, like, you, you can hear me breathing very heavily. Like, this, and, and I'm by myself as well, so this, this is very sketchy. It's freaking me out. That's the main road. We can go climb. We can climb our way up. I don't know how safe that would be though. But the, the road is literally back there. Oh, and he knocked the stairs down. Getting back down is going to be a bitch though, because I'm usually going to have to climb out that window or exit through the basement. And the basement's dark and I have bare, I have, apparently have a terrible light. There's a window right over there that I think I could climb into. Oh, come on. Fuck. That's no way down in the basement. Oh, I want to get in that window, but I have to climb that. Go try to find another way in. I know we're trying to, get to, trying to get into that building right there. Let's try to do this one first. It's a lot smaller and it shouldn't be as dark. But we will hit that building up in this video. At least try. If not, I'm just going to... I will be coming back here. I'm going to have to bring a better light though. Because this light apparently doesn't do justice. It had The batteries have to be dying. But anyways, let's hit up this building right here. And then we do that. And as you see, all the way down there, that's probably where the security hangout, right? Where my finger's pointing. There's another building right there. But that's probably where the security is stationed. So we gotta to try to stay away from that in this video and probably in the next one. Gotta to try to avoid that because I'm guaranteed that's where the security hangout. And also, may I add, this whole place is surrounded by a neighborhood. So security don't see us, the neighbors can see us, and then they're aware of the security because I bet they have a good relationship of catching people here. but there has to be. Oh my God. There's the stairs. There's, there's the hallway. I don't know. You see that? My light barely hits the, the back of it. I don't know. If you, you can't even see that on the camera. That sucks. But that's in the hallway. Right down there. 
basically without lights hitting the, the natural light. That's what it only is. Let's go up. Tables. There's a main room right here. This that's the porch where that's where all the kids hung out. There's a desk right there. There's a neighborhood right down there. Let's stay clear of this room. Let's be able to see this. Vandals 2020. I haven't seen any satanic graffiti yet. But like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this place is recorded to be haunted. And I will whip out the K2 meter. If I don't do it in this video, I'll definitely do it in the upcoming video part two. They, they, they made an obstacle course. I don't like that. There's a bathroom. Oh my god. I hate this, but I'm also enjoying this at the same time. Like, I'm scared for other people for being caught and falling, like, falling through the floor, but I'm also happy because this is the very first office of the hospital I'm inside of and I've always wanted to do one of these and I'm finally doing one but it's also terrifying at the same time especially since I'm by myself Some patient rooms. Seems like it's getting darker down here. Oh, that is very ominous. I think these are all just patient rooms right here. Nothing that surprising. So let's head back up the stairs. Let's do um some let's hit the third floor. Oh there's the roof. Should I do it? Should I do the roof? I'm scared of heights. I may do it though. Just for you guys, I may do it. Oh look at that natural light hitting. Oh, this is a great place for some photos. Down there are some more patient rooms, I believe. Oh, I love that. Just a bunch of decay. Oh, shit. Here's the fire alarm. Definitely won't be working anymore. There's the bathroom. <laughs> There's a whole other wing that I haven't explored. Simple. It's hard with the breaking tile. So yeah, down there is literally the same layout as before. Just a bunch of dorms. Some cubby space. Some shelving. Oh, that is sick, dude. I don't know about 
you, but that's the way the light's hitting that. It's absolutely amazing. This be another way to get to the second wing. I might do it, but I'm pretty sure it's just going to be a repeat of what's right here right now. So, I don't know. Anyways, this is cool. I gotta try to be more quiet because I'm making a lot of noise walking, but that's inevitable. But since we're done with this building, let's try to hit up a different building. We may try that big one again. I don't know. I may actually wait until, wait until we find, until I get a better flashlight for that one because my flashlight at the moment is either dying of batteries, like I said before, or it's just not as powerful. So I need to get a new flashlight before I hit up that building, I think. But let's try to, let's try to hit up another place before we finish this part. Oh yeah, before we head to a new building, if we can, I said we'll get to the roof. We're going to try it. I may not walk on it, but at least show you the roof so I can at least say I've technically been there. Gonna watch her walk up this sketchy ass ladder to that. Is it worth it? I'm not going to pay for it. I don't think it's worth it. Look. Oh, that's a drop. Like I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I am I don't I do not like heights. Oh, there's a snake skin right there. Anyways, like I said before. I am, I'm not a fan of heights. And there's nowhere else to hold. I have to hold that. I'm not reaching that. That rope seems pretty tight, but I'm sorry, guys. I can't do it. I'm going back down. I can't do it. I was holding the camera Sam Colby style. Climbing with the camera is, is difficult as one thing, so I can understand why people say it's difficult. But at the same time, I'm scared of heights, dude. Hopefully you got a good view in the camera. Hopefully it focused well. I'm sorry, I just can't do it. That's our way out, boys. I don't think there's anyone out there. But that's definitely some type of security thing. There's a car. That's a public road. Oh my God. So we gotta be sneaky. To get to the other side, uh, we may have to like backtrack through the woods. Oh man, you're like you have to cross a, pri a public road to get to that place and there's a building right there, which is most likely the security building. Let's just exit this building first, not that hard. And then we we'll think from there. Oh. I'm lucky there's no nails there. Like I said before, that's literally a duplicate of that. So I don't think there's no, there's, I don't think there's any point going in that side of the building. That's most likely the children's hospital. This is either the adult hospital or the children's hospital. I'm not quite sure which hospital this is, but it's one of the two. I think I'm willing to go back inside this building and try to go up some stairs. The problem is I'm entering in the basement and I can barely navigate. That building behind us that we just visited had way more light, more natural light coming through than this one does. It's a challenge. It's an absolute challenge. But so far, I have not heard any other one. I have not heard of security. I have not known anything. So they either don't know I'm here or it's the day off, which I doubt. They probably just don't know I'm here, which is surprising because I've been walking through that building. I was making some noise, not a lot of noise, but I was being kind of loud. <sighs> but we may have to hit up the other buildings in part two, but we're gonna try to hit up this one, see see how it does. This, this will be interesting, I'll tell you that much. Back inside the creepy giant hospital we go. Oh my God. Let's 
just try to find the stairs. Again, like, I don't have any light. I have better light on the... Like, that's, that's all the light I have, which is terrible. That says exit up there. That's a cool picture. That, I don't know, you can't even see it on the camera, but that's literally just a long hallway. Oh, this is the engine room. Or there's some type of room. Maybe the heating room. Down one of these hallways, there's stairs. Again, sorry for the lack of light. I will bring a better light next time. Let's go down this way, because there's actually a light at the end of that hallway. Down there, it's pitch black, so we're gonna go down here. I hate this. Oh, there's the elevator. I hate this though, I hate this, I hate this. That's just the hallway to the room they were just at. No crawl space right there. Oh God, that's not a hallway. Oh, I hate being in the basement. And so far, I only know one way out, which is out of that door. You can't even see it on camera, can you? Oh, fuck. It's that door right there. Wait, where my light's at? That's the only exit I know. So if I have to run out of here, I have to try to find that exit. If not, another one. There's stuff down there. Maybe we should go down there. Oh, the first satanic symbol. Lovely. I'm also worried about hitting my head on some type of metal beam. Oh, that scared me. God dang it. Just a giant room. Oh, did I go? No. No, no, no. Let's go to the stairs. Try and hold in the wall right there. Kind of see that on camera. Some cabinets right there. Other than that, there's nothing that I can see. There's a doorway right there that I was talking about, though. Only form of light. We just walked down that very dark hallway that you can't even see my flashlight on camera. Maybe you can. Barely. You can't even, no, you can't. You can barely even see it. It's so annoying. There's gotta be a stairway somewhere, unless it's on the other side, and if it is, oh. That's a frog. None of these room have none of these rooms have signs on them. Oh, it's a giant empty room. I don't think none of these rooms have nothing. There's nothing here. There's no stairway here. Oh. The stairway's down the very dark hallway, which I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, but I'm not going down that hallway with that proper light. With that proper lighting. Like, I'm amazed that I went this far. But 
but I'm not going any further. But I will, what I will do is whip out my K2 meter and use it down here for a little bit before I leave today. Like it lights up fine, like in person. Like in person, the lighting's not that bad, but on camera for some reason, it's terrible at picking it up in like complete darkness like this. I don't know what's going on. Okay, as you see right here, I have my K2 with me. We'll see if we catch anything on this. Cause like I said before, this place is reported to have some haunted history to it. So this does go off. Maybe we'll catch it. We'll catch it on camera. Is there anything with me? I know this hospital was used for tuberculosis. Is this a child's? Was this the child's hospital? or the adult section of the hospital. Oh, that's so cool. I'm hearing a noise, I'm not sure what it is. I don't know what the camera's picking up, picking up, but I'm definitely hearing a noise. Is there anything in here with me? Can you make my K2 spike up? Can you spike it to uh, yellow? There's frogs everywhere in here. What the fuck? There we go. K2 has not gone off. I like some of this touch to me. If you don't want to communicate with the K2, do you want to communicate by knocking? Can you do a knock for me? Okay, so there's the exit right there. I kind of feel like going straight. I don't know why. I was hesitant, but now since I walked from that way, from there and back, I feel like I can walk it down here. This may be a big mistake. Hopefully it's not. Again, I will have to come back here proper lighting because you guys can barely see anything. K2 is still not, oh, that was my shadow. Oh my God. I'm so on edge that my shadow scared me. Oh, geez. On second thought, I'm not sure if I can go any farther. What was that?
my phone goes. On second thought, guys, I am not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to walk down that hallway with this dimsy flashlight again. I don't know if the batteries are dead, they're dying, or something. I don't know, but when I do come back here for part two, which will be earlier this week, hopefully, I'm definitely going to bring a stronger flashlight because, my God, this is nothing. I'm definitely going to buy new batteries for this flashlight, but I also need to get a better flashlight, a strong, actual flashlight where you can see because you guys couldn't see anything. Okay, guys, I hate to disappoint you, but I'm leaving this place. I know I didn't explore much. I only explored one building. I didn't get to explore one of the main buildings. I at least went to like part of the basement one of them which was pretty scary but i didn't do all of this i didn't get to do any of that it's because of this i didn't want to navigate down that dark hallway with just this light and the light from my phone terrible lighting so i'm definitely gonna come back here part two when i can hopefully sooner than later i'm gonna try to do it by sometime else this week um but yeah, this is this is a very nice place. Hopefully you guys enjoyed for what it is, even though I didn't really explore much. I only explored one building and that was it. I didn't get even do to didn't even get to do the main building. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know it's on the last video that you guys loved it. You loved the last video that I did at the Windborne Mansion. Hopefully you enjoyed this one just as much as the last one. But yeah, that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Definitely come back here for part two with better lighting and with someone else i'm not gonna be alone this next time i believe but it's starting to rain now i gotta get out here i've been here long enough but anyways hope you guys enjoy see you guys next time bye